Hi everyone, I'm Carl Eckstein. This is Ben Kowalski. We're on your South Golf Course Committee, and we're standing on the ninth hole of the South Golf Course. Behind us, you can see the ninth green where they're putting on the rock wall. Uh, hopefully no one will go in the water on this hole, but you'll notice how beautiful it looks. The hole will be lowered down to make the shot a little bit easier for you. And for those who can't go over the water, you could always go around. Carl must be talking about me. Um, I'm gonna enjoy the beauty of the rock wall and the beauty of the green, but I'm gonna probably choose to go around the green and come up on the, uh, on the left side of it. The hole is really uh, shaping up beautifully. It's, uh, in my opinion, one of the prettiest holes we have on the South Coast. And um, we're really excited where it's going so far. And hopefully behind us, you could see the uh, uh, dozer fixing the rock wall, putting it in. It's an interesting project. And when we get to 11, you will see a completed rock wall. We're now standing on the 10th hole tee boxes. You're looking down the fairway, and as the fairway is being shaped, it's in a slightly better condition than the ninth fairway. Uh, and when we move further down, you will see the cart paths uh, being laid and the corridor for the cart paths. Okay, we're now in front of the green on the 10th hole. Uh, there's a bunker in the left front, there's a rear bunker on the right and a rear bunker on the left. You'll notice also that the green has actually been moved left further away from the cart path than it was prior. And then there's a, uh, a swale on the right side of the green that'll go in. We're now standing on the 11th tee box, par three over water. As you can see, the rock wall has been completed. The Two bunkers have been replaced by one bunker on the left side and the green is fully formed and the green mix is already in place. It's just waiting now for the irrigation to go in. We are now standing on the green tee of hole 11 so you get a different perspective of what the hole looks like. And for those who want the family tee, it's on the other side of the bridge nice little easy shot directly onto the green. We're now standing on the back side of the 11th green and you may be wondering who we have with us. All the way over on my right is Pat who is the superintendent for this course, a Fallon Isles employee, and Dino who is the project, project manager for Total Golf who's doing the construction. And now Dino's going to tell us a little more about this hole. On this particular green, we've lowered the green a little bit, added a 289 foot wall, uh, lower bailout areas on the right hand side, which will be cut in short grass, small bunker front left that protects the front left side of the green, flattened all the collars, keep golf balls on the collars, and enhanced the green complex itself to two different drain points, three different angles on the green, and a small orange tee just uh, on our side of the bridge uh, with a small bailout area in front of it as well that could also be used as a drop area. We're standing on the 13th tee, approximately where the white tees would be. This is the relatively short par four. What Reese has done, he's took out all the bunkers on the left side and place two strategically placed bunkers in the middle of the fairway, providing for an upper and lower fairway. If you go to the right side of the fairway, you'll have an easier tee shot and don't have to worry about the water. Whereas if you take the left side of the fairway, you have the water to contend with. On the right side, your second shot will have to clear a bunker, where on the left side, you have a clear shot into the green. So strategy prevails on this hole. Do you want to take the easier drive and clear a bunker, or take the more risk shot and get rewarded with a straight shot into the green? I'm on the uh, 13th fairway, about 100 yards out from the green. Uh, and you'll notice that I'm on the right side of the fairway. You'll notice a large bunker 
to my right, and you'll notice a bunker in the middle of the fairway to my right and another bunker in the middle of the fairway to the left, as Carl described earlier. Um, I'm standing on the side that gives me, as a higher handicap player, the opportunity to hit my ball to the right and get a clear shot into the green. The disadvantage of that is I've got to go over a sand trap at the green side. Carl will show you, he's being a better golfer, he'll show you where the better golfers will probably hit to, uh, which would put them in the middle of the fairway, also maybe 100, 107 yards off the green. They will not have to go over a uh, trap to get onto the green. Uh, so uh, now I'll turn it over to Carl and Carl will explain to you where he is. Hi, I'm standing in the middle of the 13th fairway and hopefully what you saw from Ben panning to me is the height differential of about five to six feet between the upper and lower fairways. If you challenge yourself and go onto the lower fairway, you have the bunkers in the water to contend with, but as I said before, you have an open shot to the green. In closing, I wanna remind everyone that this is still a construction zone and you should not be out here. If you have any questions, feel free to give myself, Ben, or Steve Funk, uh, an email or a call. You could also check anything out on the website and we look forward to having more of these videos and having this course done so everyone can come out and play and enjoy. Thanks.